The idea for the IMBT originated, I think, in around 2005. Uh, Denis Wirtz and I began having discussions of scientific problems that were emerging at the confluence of nanoscience and medicine. There were huge strengths at the School of Medicine, the School of Public Health, uh, but also art and science and engineering that were simply not being uh, uh, synergized, exploited for a bigger purpose. So we assembled a small group of faculty from across different divisions from the university to create a template for the institute. A lot of nanobiotechnology activity was ongoing at Hopkins, but in silos. Different disciplinary perspectives are necessary to be harvested, to be harnessed in the service of finding big solutions to big problems. We thought that to turn these ideas of multidisciplinary research into great research, great result, great training, we need an organization. A focal point within the university to marshal all of the resources and all of the activity ongoing at the university in nanobiotechnology. It, it was no small feat to get the signatures of four deans on the final copy of the Charter and Business Plan um, because it really represented, I think, an, a, a large em embracing of, of this concept. The use of uh, multidisciplinary research uh, is starting to show real promise where different fields come together to solve a problem. There's a, a real understanding today that uh, problems are so complex that you really need to bring multiple experts uh, together. And I also believe that innovation happens at the crossroads of different disciplines. One major um, goal or one major uh, uh, objective of INBT was always to expose clinicians such as myself to expertise that we could never get within a medical campus. Within um, INBT, I see exceptional faculty that are really open to new ideas and open to enriching their research experiences with the tools that are being developed here in engineering. The engineers kind of have a different viewpoint on the problem and we have a different viewpoint on how to solve the problem. So I think it's actually a really unique kind of interface and that's what has made it work so well. It's people with very different cultures working together, publishing together, getting funding together, training students together. Our training programs are unique in that we combine traditional disciplinary training to provide the important depth to a student's education. But we also have the students in our program take a group of courses uh, together that allows them to bridge this gap between the physical sciences and the life sciences. IMBT focuses you on expanding your knowledge base. It also tells us about problems in broader areas of science that we may not have thought that our own disciplines would have touched on. IMBT has allowed me uh, to be dual advised from someone in my department and then someone from the medical community. Every student feels like they have a home in both labs and, uh, and that they know that they immediately can think differently about their research question and their approach because they have this whole other constellation of, of um, expertises that they can tap into. I think it's important to work towards translational research to bridge the gap between uh, basic research and clinical research. One of the things that I've wanted to do in my lab for many years is more of the applications of our fundamental discoveries. Those discoveries are then going to lead to potentially new therapies. That is a great model of bringing together, again, academics through engineering to corporations to help facilitate ultimately the translation of scientific research. The template for the Institute has created an infrastructure that's allowed us to grow in uh, new ways and been successful in establishing uh, two new NIH funded centers, the Physical Sciences and Oncology Center and the Center of Cancer Nanotechnology Excellence. 
just its presence makes you think differently about what the future is going to look like. And that's tremendously rewarding and tremendously exciting. You, you get to the best science, you get to people who know each other talking about new ideas and, and new approaches. It's exciting and it's fun, and that's what science should be about. Because of INVT and I think because of um, that spirit of collaboration here at Hopkins, we excel. Students, faculty, we all excel. And we do better.